Good morning, Saints. I am Curtis Alexander, the senior pastor and founder of the City of Refuge Church. And we want to wish you a happy and awesome new year. Can you say amen? Hallelujah to the Lord. We want to worship the Lord. We want to continue to be in praise. We want to continue and continue to be a blessing to those who are watching, who's here in the house. Amen. We thank God for you watching. We thank God for the people who are here in house. We thank God for the people that will be watching the archives. Can you say amen? We want to work, welcome you to the City of Refuge Church broadcast. Amen. Live stream. Amen, somebody. Happy, happy, happy New Year. 2022. Amen, somebody. My sermon actually was changed this morning from, we were, we've been in a little ser uh, series about getting ready for battle. And actually it all pertains and partakes with one another, but the Lord changed the message this morning while I was in the shower. So praise the Lord this morning. We thank God for the changing of, of, of the message, and it's, and, it's, and it's a real good message for the people on the first Sunday of January, and, and the, in the first month of the new year. Can you say amen? We pray, and we hope that everyone had an awesome new year. A lot of people uh, spent, hopefully spent time with family, loved ones. We know that there is a pandemic going on, and we may not be able to spend as much time together as we once did, but we praise the Lord anyhow for being able to spend more quality time with him. Can you say amen? Amen, somebody. So we'll continue to give God praise, to give God honor, and give God glory. We thank God for that. Can you say amen? Saints, this morning, if you have your Bibles, if you have uh, the word in front of you, we can turn to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3. Revelation, last book of the New Testament, last book of the Bible, actually, uh, Revelation chapter 3. And it's a very familiar passage and a very familiar uh, scripture reference. It's the message to the church in Laodicea. So I just want to give you a, uh, some, 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 a background about Laodicea and who they actually were and, and, and what they were. And it was a town it was the wealthiest of seven cities, known for its banking industry, manufacture of wool, and, and a medical school that, that produced eye ointment. But the city had always uh, had a problem with its water supply. Mm. At one time, an, ad, an uh, attic was, was built to bring water to the city from hot springs. But by the time the water reached the city, it was never, it was neither nor, neither hot nor refreshingly cold. Only lukewarm. The church had become as, as bland as the tepid water that came into the city. We're going to read verses 14 through 22 this morning, saints. So I'm going to read thusly, and I'm reading from the... New Living Translation Bible. So yours might say a little, be a little bit different, but it all has the same meaning. Praise the Lord. It says, this is Jesus God talking here. It says, write this letter to the angel of the church in Laodicea. This is the message from one who is the amen. The faithful and true witness. The beginning of God's new creation. Verse 15 says, I know all the things you do that you are neither hot nor cold. Mm. I wish that you were one of the or the other. But since you are lukewarm, but since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth, my God. But since you are lukewarm, like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich. I have everything I want. Mm -hmm. I don't need a thing. And you don't realize that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. 
Verse 18 says, so I advise you to buy gold from me. Gold that has been purified by fire. Then, says the Lord, you will be rich. Also, buy white garments from me so that you will not be shamed by your nakedness and ointments for your eyes so you will be able to see. Verse 19 says, I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. Verse 20 says, look, I stand at the door and knock. We know that verse very well. If your heart, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. We have to open the door and let God in. Our lives and our hearts, saints. And we'll share a meal together as friends. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Verse 22, anyone who hears with ears to hear must listen to the spirit and understand what he is saying to the church. So Father God, be with us today and become our holy guest. As this time does become divine, we thank you for what you've done on the cross. We thank you for allowing us to be in 2022. We thank you for letting us see yet another year. Father God, we just give you all the honor, the praise that is due your name. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, we all can say amen and amen. Saints, we're talking about don't be like the Laodiceans. Don't be like the Laodiceans. What an awesome message for the first Sunday in a new year. We understand and know that the Laodicean church, were, they, had, they were lukewarm. They were hot. They were either, they were, they were in the middle, in between. They were serving God on Sunday or Saturday or whenever they had the opportunity to serve God. They were serving him on a, a particular day, but Monday through Saturday, my God of heaven, they were serving Satan and flesh and man. They were, they were lukewarm. We all know about being lukewarm. We, can, we serve God only a couple of hours on a Sunday, but then we serve Satan Monday through Sunday afternoon when we leave church or leave our, the, the temple or leave the house of God, and we continue to serve Satan, oh, my God, Monday through Saturday. We got to stop being lukewarm. We can't be. A, we cannot be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. That's our. That's that's the message this morning. We cannot be lukewarm in 22 and beyond. Can you say Amen? We have to choose whom we will serve. If you're going to serve God, then you need to serve Him wholeheartedly. If you're going to serve Satan, serve Him wholeheartedly. We can no longer be, oh my God, lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. Can you say Amen? Uh, we have to understand, saints, that 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 God, that Jesus is coming back sooner than when we believe. We have to awaken out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Come on, can you say Amen? We have to understand and know that this church, this Laodicean church, this Laodicean church, they were lukewarm. Can we, what, we, 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 we can't be continuing to be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. We, 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 let's look at verse 6. It says, lukewarm water makes a disgusting drink. The church in Laodicean have become lukewarm and thus distasteful and repungent. The believers didn't take a stand for anything. Indifference had led to idleness. By neglecting to do anything for Christ, my God, the church had become hardened and self-satisfied, and it was destroying itself. Saints, we, 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 for 2022 and beyond, we, we have got to get rid of being lukewarm. If you're going to choose whom you will serve and make Known who you will serve. If you're going to serve Satan, serve him. Pastor uh, uh, Theodore Chisholm on, on New Year's Eve read a scripture, read a, a scripture in Revelation, and we talked, and he talked about uh, 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 being able to. If you're going to be good, you need to be good. If you're going to be uh, whatever you you're going to do, you need to serve and know who you're going to serve. 
See, God stands at the door, saints, and he's, he's knocking continually upon your hearts. He's knocking. He's knocking. We, we have to be able to want to open that door so he can come in. What, you know, we, we, we sing songs all the time about serving the Lord. <laughs> you know, we, we, we sing songs about being, uh, about following Jesus and deciding, you know, what is, the, what is that song? I have decided to follow Jesus, but then you live like hellions th throughout the whole week, but we sing songs every Sunday and Wednesday or whenever you meet for your church settings. But do you really follow Jesus? We can sing the songs all the time and, and all day long till we're blue or black or white in the face, purple in the face, but we're lukewarm. Come on, we don't want to be, we, 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 we got to get out of this. We got, we got to come out of this lukewarmness for 2022 and beyond. Because God has a plan. God has an assignment for you. And if you continue to be lukewarm, he can't use you. He can't use the church when they're lukewarm. And he's, he's specific, he specifically says he spits you out of his mouth. We have, see, America, we, we, the church in America, we, we have too much. Going on, we have too many things. We're too, we're too, we're too, because of the, the the abundance that we have. See, if God starts taking things away, <laughs> my God, what would we be like? We 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 can't be lukewarm, saints, in twenty twenty two and beyond. We can't be lukewarm. We can we 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 need to know whom we're going to serve. We need to serve Jesus wholeheartedly. In the years and in the years to come, and, and then starting with this year, see, see, God has allowed us to be in 2022 to serve, to be a blessing to someone, to bring, a, to be a witness, and to bring people into the kingdom of God. A lot of people are dying and, and, and ending up in hell, but 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 it is because. We're not telling and being a witness, my God. We're not being the true witness. We're, we're, they're, they're, they're seeing how we're living. They're seeing what we say. They're seeing what we do. Hence why we have to be careful. We said it on uh, Friday night. We have to be careful how we allow and, 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 and for, the, for, for our actions. We have to be careful. The, the, the enemy is, is, has, has woo, honed up his game, pruned waiting for us to fall. But saints, we have to understand and know we can't be lukewarm. We can't be lukewarm. Serving God one day, one for three, for what is it, three hours on a Sunday? Getting to the parking lot, getting through the through the vestibule or the or the uh, 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 the lobby of the church can't wait to get start gossiping about what the pastor said, who what war and all this other craziness. We got to, we cannot be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. Don't be like the Laodiceans. They were lukewarm. They, 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 they followed Jesus on one day, but then they <laughs> act like hellions the, the rest. They, were, they said they were rich. They didn't need God. We don't, it's, it's amazing that we don't tend to need God when everything is going well. We don't tend to need God, my Shadia. We don't tend to need God when everything is going our way. We have money in the bank. We have car, gas in our cars. We have the biggest house on Elm Street, whatever, Main Street, Church Street. We don't need God. The only time we need God, saint, is when trouble happens. Hmm. It's amazing. We can bicker and argue and fight with each other, curse each other out, backstab, backbite, murmur, complain. We don't need God. But, but, but let something happen drastic, dr dramatically in our lives. We all of a sudden now need God. See, Jesus said he stood at the door and knocks. If you hear my voice, open the door. You know, we sing the song. You say that you are my sheep, or that you are my shepherd. What is it? 
You say that you are my sheep. Why aren't you following me? The shepherd, we sing these songs. What in the world? Why do we sing songs and we know that we really don't follow? Why do we do this? We got to stop being lukewarm. We cannot be we cannot be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. <clears throat> we got to get out of this. We got to come up out of the Laodicean mindset. We got to come up out of the Laodicean church. We got to come up out of the Laodicean mentality, saints, for 2022 and beyond. God is coming back. Jesus is coming back sooner than when you think. We have got to be prepared. We have got to be ready. And, and, and see, this message actually correlates to, to being prepared, to being ready to be utilized by the Lord. But, you, but we, 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 see, we can't be utilized if we're lukewarm. We can't be utilized by God if we're lukewarm. I'm going to say it one more time. We cannot be utilized by God if we're lukewarm. My God. So we have to make a decision. We have to know who we're going to serve. We have to know who we are going to follow. If you, Like I said, if you're going to follow Satan, follow him. If you're going to follow God, then put away these childish things. Put away... He says, I know thy works. He knows your works. He knows what we do. As Pastor Theodore Chisholm said on Friday night, uh, you, may not, God, you may not know, people may not know what you do behind closed door, but God sees us all. God sees all. And he was right. God sees all. God knows. And see, that's why we have to have discernment. We have to have spiritual gifts in order to go through to get to it. God sees all. God knows all. <laughs> but see, we're so caught up in everything else that we go through and are going through that we tend to forget that God sees all. God has eyes everywhere. Uh, you got to understand, saints, that Our garments have to be clean. He says, by go. He says, that has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich. Also buy white garments from me, so you will be not ashamed of your, of your nakedness. That's about. We came into the world naked. We and you all know the story of what happened with Adam and Eve. They were in the garden, and they, they, were, they were, you know, <laughs> tending to the need to, to, you know, and being with God and, and hearing God and traveling with God. And when God walked in the coolness of the day, they, they were, they were, they were one and, 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 but, but, but something happened. There was another voice that was speaking to the, the, this, whole, this whole story is, 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 is my God. It's amazing. And they were naked. Who told them that they were naked? They, and, and if you read in Genesis what happened, uh, they said, well, did you eat of the tree that I told you, that commanded you not to eat of? And, and they were ashamed. They were naked. They, they, they knew it immediately. So, so it's the same kind of concept. Uh, he says, also buy white garments. White, purity, purified. We need to be purified in 2022 and beyond. We need to be purified. Yes, you're going to fall. Yes, you're going to sin. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. God doesn't understand. God understands that you will make mistakes. You will fall. We will all fall short of the glory of God. But you have to get up and you have to repent. You have to ask for forgiveness. You have there's things we have to do, but God understands that. He doesn't He knows you're not perfect. Yet your spirit man was created perfect. See, there was no sin. See, before the fall, there was no before Adam and Eve sinned, there was there was no sin in the earthly realm. There was sin in the spiritual realm, but that, that's neither here nor there because Satan fell. The point of the matter is, saints, we cannot be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. 
We have to know and understand whom we're going to serve. See, the Laodiceans, they, 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 they believed and, 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 and thought they were doing great things. <laughs> they thought they were doing things right. God turned them over to reprobate minds. And he will do that. You want to continue sinning? Continue. But I'm, I'm, I guarantee you there's coming a day, there's coming a time when you will be judged for. And you will have to pay for the, for the sins and the acts that you make. And the choices that you make. You have to understand that there's coming a, a day and a time when we will all will be judged. Only what you do for Christ will last. I'm going to say that again for the people here. Only what you do for Christ will last, saints. So don't be lukewarm in 2022 and beyond. Don't be, don't allow yourself to be a part of this Laodicean mindset, this part of this, this spirit that's, 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 that's infiltrating churches today. We, we've become Laodicea, pathetic. God said he knows our works. This church ain't Laodicea, praise the Lord, but the body of Christ, we're, we're, we're suffering. We've got too many, we've got too many things that keeps us apart and away from God. Materialistic things that don't really matter. <laughs> Materialistic, they, they don't, who cares? You know, who cares? If God was to take, look, if, if we all, if God was to take us and send us through a Job experience, how many of us would survive and still follow God through, through, through all of that? Can we handle? Can we handle? See? Can we handle? See, see, saints, the, the church in, in, in Laodicea, they, 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 they thought they, they were, they were being utilized and, and they were doing well. He said, Jesus said, he, he wished that you were one way or the other. We can't be effective if we're, if we're lukewarm. We're out of focus. We, we were in the church for three hours on Sunday. We praise, dance, we sing, we speak in tongues, we prophesy, we we cast out demons and, and, and all of these things and attributes of God that we, that, that, that we should be utilizing outside the four walls. The problem is we're not utilizing. We're not being led by the Spirit. We don't have the spiritual, we're not utilizing the spiritual gifts correctly. We're utilizing them only to justify our actions. My God, there's a word for someone. We're utilizing spiritual gifts to justify our actions. We're using the word of God to justify our actions. Mm, can you say amen to that? My God, we're, 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 we're doing all the things that we should be doing, but we're trying to justify uh, our actions and utilizing the word and 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 and, and <laughs> That ain't what the word is for. We've got to utilize it in context and correctly, saints. He says, uh, I know all the things you do. He's talking to you and I. He knows all the things we do. We got to be hot or cold. Choose whom you're going to serve. That scripture says, choose whom you're going to serve. Are you you're going to serve man? Or are you going to serve me? The devil or me? The devil or, or God. The devil or God. It's not hard. We make Christianity, we make this thing so difficult. It's really not a difficult, it's really not difficult. What, what it becomes difficult is when we get tempted, when you get tried. See, but see, Jesus at his weak state was, was tempted three times by, the, by saying himself. But see, he was, he was strong because what did he do? He used the word to combat the enemy who knows the word because he... Why am I yelling? Hmm. 
It's not a hard. Christian, this walk, everything, it's not difficult. It might be sometimes painful. You know, we're going to be persecuted and, and all of that. You read Matthew 24, all those things and Revelation and, and all of that. But, 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 but it's really not difficult. You know, I'm not here to debate whether, you know, we're not we're saved by grace and works, but not by faith and, and all that. That I, I'm, pre-trip, post-trip, mid-trip, I don't have time to debate and to argue with constituents about the rapture. I don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time or energy to be debating about certain biblical concepts. What we have we need to be doing is saving the loss at all costs or at any cost. We're not the, the body of Christ is losing souls daily because we're not teaching and preaching correctly the word of God. We're too busy talking about prosperity, talking about being rich, talking about just as the lay of the sins. We, 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 we're, we're, too busy. we're too busy doing everything but what we're supposed to be doing for the Lord. Come on, saints. We got to, we got to get out of this lay of the sea and this lay of the sea and mentality, this lay of the sea and this mindset we, that, 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 that we can serve God and we can serve, uh, serve man. We can serve Satan. We can, we can do these things. But, but God says, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I know thy works. I know you. I see you. When you're behind closed doors, I see you. And I know your works, my God of heaven. We, 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 we need to repent as a, as a body, as a nation, for the things that we've done. You, you know, politicians and all that, saying great, great, speaking great things and, and being abominable in, in, in behind closed doors. My God, lying to the people just to get a vote. We got to, we, and, 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 and they call themselves Christians. Come on, saints, we, we, got, to, we got to get out of this, this Laodicean mentality, this Laodicean mindset, this Laodicean spirit. Come out of Laodicean. Come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon. Come out, come out, come out, come out. It's time to come out. Not... We got to come out. And when he stands at our doors, at our hearts, we do this Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, whenever you meet for your services, he, and he says he stands at the door and he knocks. We, we got to, the Lord has to stand at your door and knock. See, the problem with that, the problem is we, we, we don't open, we don't allow ourselves to be If you hear my voice, verse 20 says, look, he stands at the door and he knocks on your heart, on your soul. If you hear my voice, open and open the door. Open the Come on, saints. We open ourselves up for everything and, every, and anything else. <laughs> open ourselves up for, to, to, to Satan himself. Don't even know that we're opening ourselves up to being utilized by a demonic entity or a demonic spirit or Satan himself when we... <laughs> Come on. He says he stands at the door and knocks. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. You hear the Lord's voice. You know what his voice sounds like, just as Adam knew the voice of the Lord in the garden. And he hid himself. Because <clears throat> he was ashamed. We can't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ anymore in 2022 and beyond. We have... We need to let the Lord in. We know his voice. And can we can share a, co a covenant meal together, together as friends. You know, we sing the song, I am a friend of God, and, and, and you know, falling in love with Jesus, and, and all these songs that we have now. But we're still the lay of, acting as the lay of the saints. We ain't inviting God in. We're not sharing a covenant meal. We we come to the table to to, to to as first Sundays to share a covenant meal with God, but why take communion if your heart is not in it? Why even come to the place in the house of God if your heart's not in it? See, our hearts gotta be right, saints. 
He says, if you hear my voice and open the door, he will come in and sup with you. We got to get out of this Laodicean mindset. We got to get out of this Laodicean mentality. Thinking we have it all. We don't need God. Because, you know, Laodicea was a banking industry. It, it, it had money. It has, it's just like America. It has everything that you need. It was a wealthy city. One of the wealthiest city, What is it? Uh, was the wealthiest of seven cities. We're the wealthiest nation. Well, we don't need God. <laughs> took prayers out of took prayer out of school. Don't need God. Don't can't don't want to teach the children about Jesus uh, 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 history. Took prayers right out of school. And we, and we allowed it. Where was the church? See? We can't be Laodicea in 2022 and beyond. We need to choose whom we're going to serve. We need to make sure that we follow Jesus. Just as we sing the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. We... We can't go backwards. We have to go forward. We're going forward in God in 22, 20, why do I keep saying 22? 2022 and beyond. Uh, we're, 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 we're no longer going to be the Laodiceans. We're, we're going to make a change this day of whom we're serving and, and, and whom we, we're going to be uh, uh, <clears throat> directing Our paths to thank you Lord can you say amen Ooh, so we got to get out of this Laodicean mentality saints How, what are you saying today pastor this is what I'm saying this is what the Lord is saying he says I know the things you do you are neither hot nor cold I wish that you were one or the other make your decision make your decision today whom you're going to serve are you going to serve God? Or are you going to serve man? Be hot or be cold? Because God can use you either when you're hot or when you're cold. He didn't say he can't. He said when he, can, he, he can't stand a lukewarm church, a lukewarm person. He will spill you out of his mouth. That's a nice way of putting it. Spit, I, I, I think, is, is, is a whole lot better. Wakes us up. Oh, God, don't talk like It's right here in the Word. And it's in red. Yes, he does. Come on, saints. Get out of this Laodicean mentality. Get out of this Laodicean mindset. We can't be Laodicea in 2022 and beyond. So, Father God of heaven, we thank you for this time that we've gathered and assembled this morning we thank you that we're going to change, Lord God, and no longer be a part of the Laodicean mentality, of the Laodicean mindset, or of the Laodicean church. My God, fill our hearts. Come into us. Sup with us. We hear your voice. We open the door so you can come in, Father God, and become our holy guest. And we'd be so mindful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise that is due your name in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Whatever heart can say amen and amen. Be blessed. God bless you. God keep you. And we love you at the City of Refuge Church.